In the last couple of years, there's been this association with obesity and cancer. The association between endometrial cancer and obesity is extremely high. I'm Vance Albaum, one of the metabolic surgeons at Metamore Institute at Pennington Biomedical Research Center. Endometrial cancer goes undetected because it, it really masquerades as a normal menstrual cycle. What happens is, for whatever reason, that lining is not shed, and so that wall continues to thicken, continues to grow, and then over time, abnormal growths in the endometrium can occur, and then those eventually can lead to cancer. Now we're starting to see endometrial cancer at a much younger age. Here at Metamore, we are seeing subsets of women who have severe obesity. And it's those women who are higher risk for these kind of precancer conditions like the endometrial hyperplasia. They're here, we're screening them for all these other things and trying to optimize their health. And even if it's only a handful of women a year, that's still a handful of women who might not need a hysterectomy or catch their cancer at a very early stage where it's very treatable and it's not gonna have any long lasting effects on their health. My name is Amelia Jernigan. I'm a GYN oncologist and associate professor with LSU Health in New Orleans. We do know that women are less likely to see their gynecologist every year now ever since the pap smear guidelines have changed. A monthly period and anything that doesn't come monthly and that is particularly heavy or bothersome is not normal and should be addressed. In reality, being obese alone is not an indication to sample your uterus or do an invasive procedure. But if you have spotting between periods or if you skip periods or if your periods get heavier or change in character, that is usually an indication to do some sort of more formal evaluation, which can include biopsies and ultrasound. With this program, we're trying to really catch this on the early end because a lot of the symptoms that are abnormal are present in women for years. We can detect that, you know, on a biopsy very early and take care of the problem, ideally without the need for a hysterectomy or, or, or some other uh, treatment with much, much less invasive treatments than major surgery. Pennington Biomedical did have a big part in saving my life and getting me to my doctor. I was informed by the uh, Metamore staff that I fell into the category of being at risk for endometrial hyperplasia. I had neglected to go to my GYN doctor for about three years, but with that new information, I decided to go. So I did make an appointment with my GYN. I did end up having surgery. I'm very thankful that I was able to be proactive with my health care with the information that I received through Pennington. You're worth it. You should you should go see the doctor. You know, you, if you're taking care of a lot of people, if you're busy, you know, you've got a lot on your plate, and a lot of people are counting on you. But you're gonna, you you need to invest in yourself in order to further invest in those people.